but can't think of the person. I'm sorry. Anyway, who are we looking for? Gary Trudeau with two R's. All right, Mike, back to you. Pulitzer Prizes for four hundred dollars. The Fate of Liberty, a book about this nineteenth-century president, won and civil liberties, won a nineteen ninety-two prize. Um, I, I'm gonna go with who is Abraham Lincoln. I'm pretty sure it's Abraham Lincoln, but I could be wrong. But it'll be a lucky guess either way. Either if it's the correct response or not. What? What? <laughs> I don't believe it! Pulitzer Prizes for 600 Author and columnist Dave Barry won the 1988 prize for commentary for this Florida paper. What is the Miami Sun Herald? That's it. Fourteen thousand two hundred dollars. I'm just relentless today. Pulitzer Prize is freight. According to the title, it was the subject of Frank Gilroy's 1964 Pulitzer Prize winning play. What is her? Roses. Of course. Shouldn't known that one. Pulitzer Prize is for a thousand, please. The clue. In 1983, this New York Times columnist won Pulitzer for his autobiography, Growing Up. I have no idea who it is. The correct response? Who is Russell Baker? Alright, back to me. Let's go to transportation for $200. Traditionally, this one-wheel vehicle ridden by acrobats has no handlebars. What is a unicycle? Now, whatever I win this game, as I said, is going towards Chris, not towards my run for Jeopardy Platinum Edition on the Game Boy. I'm going to continue that run soon. Just not right now, but I'm at 14,400. Mike is only 2,700. I'm going to go with transportation for $400. Most of the more than 330,000 buses of these buses are in the U.S. are bright yellow orange. What are school buses? Anyone would know that. Anyone who... Makes sense. $14,800. Transportation for six. A heavy continuous sound a car might make or the type of seat on back of an old roadster. Oh, rumble! That's what I had it last time, but I don't I won't be getting it this time. But that's fine. I have nothing to be upset about. I got a huge lead. In 1990, Epo Newman became the first person to fly an ultra ultralight aircraft across this ocean. What is the Atlantic? I've had this one before many times. So it's no surprise that I'm going to get it again. No surprise at all. Yes! 15,600? And I get the last clue. Transportation for one. 
This plane dropped the atomic bomb on August 6, 1945. Was the Enola Gay? Of course, it's it's not that surprising how much knowledge I have I have stored in my brain today. I've done very well. And I have 16,600, Mike has 3,300, and we are going to Final Jeopardy! Now, we're going to have the clue and we'll have 30 seconds in which to come up with our response. Category is Islands. I'll go with 3,400. This is the largest island in the Indian Ocean. Oh, what is Madagascar? The correct response? What is Madagascar? Looks like I'm going to win the game! Mike goes to 56.25, but it's not going to be enough! I win the game of $20,000, and that $20,000 is going towards Chris! So congratulations, Chris. Hope you enjoy your $20,000 I won you in Jeopardy! Platinum Edition on the Game Boy. And I'll see you guys for Part 14, in which I'll be playing Jeopardy! on the Nintendo 64. I'm FrozenFan42291. Thanks for watching. Wow! I really did my job!